evening, just give me a second. We're going to start in a couple of seconds. Ya comenzamos. So good evening. Okay, good evening, my friends. I have some difficulties with this. Let me see. With this background. So let me un segundo. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, good evening. everybody. Just, I'm just checking this um, video. Estoy revisando esta configuración. Solo dame un par de segundos. Ya vamos a iniciar. Creo que es el fondo lo que le está afectando. Yes, es actually it is. Eso es. Dame un par de segundos. Okay. Okay. Hello. Good evening, everybody. I'm so sorry to for this what difficulty. Um, my name is Jose Cuellar. I'm going to be your new teacher. Uh, this is module number three. Okay. Estamos estamos en el módulo número tres y vamos a dar inicio pues con este día, verdad? Con respecto a la clase. Um, I have I can see new faces. Veo nuevos rostros, verdad? I have not been with you in the previous courses, but welcome everybody. Uh, les doy la cordial, bueno, cordialmente la bienvenida. I know that we're going to have a very interesting course. Even we have 25, imagine, well, including me, 26. ¿verdad? Somos 26, incluyéndome, si no solo ustedes son 25, son bastantes. Uh, well, let's uh, see what we can do. So just a uh, uh, check, vamos a ver una pequeña revisión. In the case of Alexandra, good evening. Can you hear me? Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches, ¿puedes escucharme? Sí, ¿ustedes me escuchan? Yes, perfect, okay. I guess we don't have any problem with this. And as I can see, 
we have like well i have 25 students tengo 25 students inscritos and we're going to um, have like a brief presentation about ourselves vamos a presentarnos un poco something important is that i ask everybody well every single time i can eh, me gusta preguntarle cada vez que puedo that's really good because it means that you're not going to be sleeping no van a estarse durmiendo um, one important thing is um, instructions. I can say indicaciones. That's really important and participate. Of course, you already know the rules of this course. Ya saben las reglas de este curso. And something that I really, really appreciate is your participation. Okay, um, let me see. We are connected and we're going to check this. Okay, before we start, I'm going to present um, a slide about the course. And this is like mandatory. Every single course that starts should be done. Debe estar pues, eh, presentada esta información. Okay, here we have this eh, English. Uh, the course is English uh, for work. Uh, program basic module three. It says number one, but it, it is actually number three. So in this case, here we have the, uh, I know that we, I look really different, second maybe un poco different, but believe me, um, this is me. Yes, as you can see, here I have my background. Tengo acá pues, mis, mis estudios. And I have 15 years teaching English. Um, from different levels since kindergarten to high school and a couple of subjects in the university. Okay, I have studied, I have worked in NGO, también he trabajado en ONGs and different academies. And so now that you can see that I'm real, here we have this, the requirements, los requerimientos siempre importantes, los requisitos, nombre completo, um, when you connect, and in the case uh, some of you are listeners, algunos que sean oyentes, pues deben de escribir en parte de esos oyentes. No sé si algunos de ustedes, eh, pues ya saben, ¿verdad? Eso. Eh, luego, cámara encendida, that's really important to have your camera on. And the, we have to minimize the sound uh, from the environment. Sé que a veces hay fiestas, hay actividades. Tratemos de minimizar un poco ese sonido. And active participation something that is really uh, that is really important is that uh, the assistance la asistencia verdad 100% de las clases realmente inglés corporativo toma en cuenta el 80% de las clases lo ideal es el 100 pero el 80% es necesario para aprobar así que tengan eso en cuenta okay that's really important um, la asistencia no solo se trata de, de, de al momento de tomar, eh, pues pasar lista, ¿verdad? Sino que participar. Um, la asistencia se tomará en tres ocasiones y se tomará válida cuando ustedes digan present. Uh, conmigo. Bueno, a mí me gusta que me digan diferentes frases. Por ejemplo, I am here. Hello, teacher. Good evening. All those phrases are, yes, are taken as active. Son tomadas como pues, presente. Las sesiones uno a uno se van a dar después de cada clase. Eh, hoy comenzaríamos con Abel Edelmilson Salazar. Después de cada clase hay 10 minutos en los cuales pues, se pueden aclarar dudas, se pueden eh, tomar, a, ¿sí? se pueden ver otro tipo de, de, de temas relacionados al tema gramatical, um, speaking, si ustedes quieren. Y tenemos las tareas y evaluaciones. Ustedes ya saben que pues, este curso dura cuatro semanas, 20 días. Después de cinco días deben de tener finalizadas cinco tareas. Quiere decir que después de cada clase pueden realizar una tarea. Depends on you if you want to do it in order or weekly, si lo quieren hacer ordenadamente o semanalmente. And digamos que el viernes, eh, hoy estamos en miércoles. Para el martes de la otra semana debe estar terminada la unidad 1. ¿Verdad? Que consiste en cinco uh, tareas. Cada tarea consiste en cinco preguntas de opción múltiple. En, después de dos semanas vamos a hacer el midterm, que es el examen de medio curso, y al final el examen eh, para finalizar el curso. Y pues eso sería. Es importante, voy a estarle recordando de que realicen. You have to finish all the homeworks 
that are really, really necessary. And remember, uh, silence, uh, the bottom in silence, mute, ¿verdad? Es importante siempre conectarse con el, con el micrófono apagado, la cámara encendida, chat. Tenemos chat, the breakout rooms y el botón de ask for help si necesita, pues, algo, ¿verdad? Algo en lo que puedan, pues, en lo que yo pueda colaborarles, aclararles. Um, let me see una consulta. ¿Están todos dentro del grupo de WhatsApp? Sí están, yes. Si hay alguien que no, me, me gustaría que eh, levantara así. No, así. ¿Verdad? Un, el emoji, ¿verdad? Si alguien no está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Menciono esto porque cada, cada mañana o cada tarde yo envío una pregunta, la cual yo le llamo Speaking Activity. Esa pregunta ustedes la deben de contestar si quieren escrita, eh, de manera escrita o no. Y en el momento de la clase van a participar con esa pregunta. Ok. So that's important. Es un speaking activity. Ya les voy a mostrar la speaking activity de esta clase. Ahora, si alguien está en el grupo de WhatsApp, obviamente no va a recibir ese mensaje y va a venir aquí, digamos, a la clase como, mm, what is going on? ¿Qué está pasando, teacher? No, no entiendo, ¿verdad? Para que no me vengan perdidos. Así que eh, antes de pues, dar inicio, I don't know if you have doubts, tienen dudas, preguntas, um, comentarios, consultas. Everything okay, right? Oh, now let's see. Solo les voy a mostrar la primera pregunta. La vamos a desarrollar ahora, pero va a ser bastante, bastante sencilla. Les voy a dar algunos ejemplos cómo lo vamos a hacer. Cada clase nosotros tenemos una speaking activity, que es la siguiente, es esta. What is your greatest achievement? ¿Cuál es el logro más grande que has tenido? ¿Okay? ¿O cuál es eh, una meta que da algo cuando ustedes se sienten orgullosos? Algunos de ustedes podrían decir, I own a house, uh, success, uh, you can say... Mm, Finish my degree, finalizar mi carrera, had, eh, my kids, los, los niños, my car, have pets, ok, whatever comes to your mind, lo que, lo que venga a sus mentes, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es la pregunta de ahora, le voy a dar tiempo, ahorita piensen que me podrían decir cuál es el logro más grande. Y vamos a decir, my greatest achievement is, y lo vamos a comenzar de esa manera. My greatest, pueden decir greatest, pero en inglés normalmente cuando hay una T y antes hay una vocal, decimos, la pronunciamos como R, greatest. My greatest achievement is, if you want to extend and to explain more about your answer, of course you can do it, but if not, you can be brave. ¿Verdad? Si quieren explicar más sobre su respuesta, of course you can do it. Adelante, háganlo. Si no, puede, pueden ser breves. Recuerden que las respuestas eh, pueden ser leídas, pero me gustaría que también las dijeran, pues, digamos, un poquito ya, con sus palabras, no necesariamente con Google Translator, ¿verdad? Porque se trata de que vayamos, eh, pues, eh, mejorando nuestra fluidez, ¿ok? That's the, the, the objective, to improve our fluency. Um, so, um, estas, este es un tipo de actividades que vamos a estar haciendo And yo les llamo speaking activities, les voy a enviar en la mañana o en la tarde, así ustedes tienen un tiempo en breakout, tienen un break, un descanso, un receso, o a la hora del almuerzo lo pueden ¿qué? googlear o, o pueden tener una referencia acerca de, de cómo contestar. Ok, we're going to start now by checking this. Let me see. Hello, Flor. Good evening. Again. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, okay. Well, nice to see you again. ¿Verdad? Eh, tenemos nuevos rostros acá. Con Flor ya estuve en el curso anterior, pero yo sé que todos ustedes lo van a hacer genial. ¿Verdad? Si han llegado, si, si han avanzado. If you have advanced, if you have survived, si han sobrevivido estos dos cursos, este, lo van a sentir bien light. We're going to check it. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Uh, the topic of today is how to use infinitives. ¿Qué son infinitives? What is an infinitive? We're going to uh, see it in a moment. 
And for this one, something important is that uh, when we start a class, I like to give or I like to present vocabulary. Siempre, siempre en cada clase me gusta presentar vocabulario, frases idiomáticas. Um, y el objetivo, the objective is to expand, to extend your vocabulary, uh, your, yes, the phrases that you can use in a real situation. Por ejemplo, la, la frase de ahora es ways to say it's easy. Formas para decir es fácil. Okay, and here we have one, two, three, four, five, six phrases. Of course, it is not mandatory to write that. No las tiene que escribir. But I recommend, I recommend you to write two or three and uh, apply them. Le recomiendo que escriban uno, dos, o dos, o tres, y las apliquen, porque ese es el objetivo. It is not uh, a matter of fulfilling the notebook. Se trata de llenar un cuaderno las páginas. Se trata de aplicarlas. Ok. Ways to say it's easy. Formas de decir fácil o está fácil. Number one. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. Number two. It's a walk in the park. Walk in the park. La L no se pronuncia. Es un silent letter. Es una letra silenciosa. Así se dice walk como China walk. Pero se escribe diferente. Ok. It's a walk in the park. Uh, three. It's a cinch. Four. Easy peasy. I like this. Easy peasy. Um, next. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. And then here we have it's easy as one, two, three. Or it's easy as A, B, C. Ok. So I'm going to... Uh, repeat one by one y después yo voy a pasar lista cuando pase lista when I check the, the attendance list eh, por ejemplo digo a ver le Salazar me dicen present y después de decir present o decir hi or good evening me dicen una de estas frases whatever you want to say depends on you Ahí, el, eligen ustedes ok it's a piece of cake it's a walk in the park it's a cinch. Easy peasy. Anyone can do it. It's easy as one, two, three. Or it's easy as ABC. Okay, I'm going to start checking the attendance list. And uh, let's see, my friend Abel de Nelson Salazar, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Your phrase? It's a bit of okay. Thank you. Alexandra Michel. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, What's your phrase? It's a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. It's a walk in the park. Good one. Brenda Lisette Lobo. Okay, no Brenda. What about uh, Cesar Ernesto Bonilla? No Cesar. Okay. Douglas Humberto Sanchez. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Okay, thank you. What's anyone, your can, anyone can do it. Perfect. Elia Yanira Canizales. Present, teacher. Thank you. In it's your place. Pieces, it's a piece of the cake. It's a piece of cake. Good. Fatima del Carmen Cubillas. Present, teacher. Thank it's you. A pinch. Good one. Fernando Josué Anaya. No, Fernando. Ok. Flor de María. Ok, Flor. Present teacher. Oh. Anyone can do it. Perfect. Gisela Beatriz Hernández. Present teacher. Hello. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Good. José Mauricio Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, Jose. It's a uh, work in the park. Okay, it's a work. Thank you. And Juan Cristobal Alemán. Present teacher. Hello there. It's easy as one, two, three. Good one. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Okay, no, Julissa. Carla Daniela Molina. 
present. Hello. Anyone can do it. Good one. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes. No. Okay. Marvin Edenilson Arias. Hello, my fella. Hello. Yes, Marvin. Um, what's your phrase? Anyone can do it. Thank you. Mirna Janet Angel. Present teacher. Hello, Mirna. It's the world in the park. Good one. Odalis de Maria Rivera. No, Odalis. Okay. Oscar hello, Armando. Teacher. Okay, Odalis. Hello. It's a piece of cake. Okay, it's a piece of cake. Thank you. Oscar Armando Santos. No, Oscar. Okay. Um, Rosa del Carmen Castro. Uh, okay, Oscar. Rosa del Carmen Castro. No, Kevin Ramiro Fernández. Uh, yes, Kevin Ramiro Fernández. Okay, thank you, Fernando. No, I didn't listen. No, no, escuché. Quizás el internet está un poquito lento. Teacher. Yes. Hello. Brenda is present. It's a war in the park. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Brenda. Liliana Alejandra. Valencia. No. Okay. Uh, what about if we listen now to... Mario Edgardo Ramos. Hello, teacher. My second name is Eduardo. Yes, Mario Eduardo Ramos. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good one. Okay. okay. What about uh, your phrase? It's easy as ABC. Perfect. Thank you. Noé Vladimir Blanco. Present, teacher. Okay, Noé. Anyone can do it. Good one. Adriana Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, what's your phrase? Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Tu apellido es bien particular, Adriana. Yes. Con suegra. Okay. Yes. Con suegra. Creo que nunca se me va a olvidar. Believe it. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, nice. We're going to, well, just to remind you, para recordarles, we're going to have always this type of vocabulary at the beginning of every class. Al inicio de toda clase, vamos a tener. Okay. I'm Liliana. I'm here. Okay, Liliana. Te anoto. Thank you. ¿Cuál es tu frase? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Nice. Thank you. And... Teacher. Yes. Teacher. No me mencionó. Eh, nombre. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Eh, sí. Sí, mencioné Kevin Ramiro Vázquez, pero te anoté. Ahorita ya que eh, me... Buenas noches, teacher. Oscar Santos le saluda. Hello, Oscar. Let me see. No sé si estás en la lista negra aquí. Sí, aquí estás. Ok, Oscar. What's Gracias, your price? Teacher. teacher. Hello. Eh, te saluda César Bonilla. Disculpe, pero es que yo vengo manejando y se me conozco. Ok, César. No problem. Ya te noté. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, una sugerencia. Cuando vayan a manejar. Eh, mándenme un mensaje por WhatsApp. De verdad, eh, ya les voy a enviar nuevamente la, 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 mi información ahí o cualquier cosa para estar pendiente, ¿verdad? Y no preguntarles lo que vienen manejando o por lo menos hasta que lleguen a sus casas, ¿verdad? Este, para que, eh, por cuestiones de seguridad. Y cuando lleguen a sus casas me pueden decir, teacher, ya estoy vivo aquí en la casa. No problem, we continue with the class. Ok, recordándoles que dentro de unos momentos voy a... Eh, pues vamos a hablar sobre este speaking activity, pero antes de eso, tenemos lo siguiente. Here we have this. Okay, here we have a conversation and I'm going to give you like eight seconds, ocho segundos, denle una leída rápida, scanning, y luego les pregunto qué palabras captan ahí o qué recuerdan de esa conversation. Okay, eight seconds.
Okay. So let me see. Mm -hmm. One word or phrase. Let's start with Noe. Okay, Noe. And then Mario. Yes, teacher. Okay. Una frase o palabra que recuerdes de la conversación. Está fácil. Um, eh, the vision on the mission of the company. Okay, mission. Okay, vision. Como el de Avengers. Okay, thank you, Noe. Mario, then we go with Carla. Hello, teacher. The mission of the company is feel, it's meant to feel the person um, good um, from check in to check out. Okay, very interesting. From check in to check out. Thank you. Okay, Carla, and then we go with Flor. Okay, Carla, Daniela. Una palabra. Gracias. No. Bye. A la próxima. No problem. Flor and then Alexander. Um, from check in. Okay. Yes. From check in. Good. Alexandra, and then we go with Abel. Uh, check in, check on with salt or muslim. Okay, thank you. Abel, and then we go with Liliana. And um, um, business. Okay, business. Really good word. And Liliana. Manager. Okay, manager. Nice. Okay. Uh, here we have a conversation between uh, Diana and Celia. And si pueden notar, están utilizando el did, que es el auxiliar do, pero en pasado. Tenemos, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I'm going to underline some words that I consider that may be difficult. Algunas que podrían ser un poquito difícil. I did. We should be ready to answer the questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our, not all. This is our. Our mission is to make our guests, guests, Feel at home from check-in to check-out. Muy bien, right. Our mission describes, es importante la S al final, describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, wants to get and our future business. Okay. Let me see. Okay, Carla, no problem. Son cosas que pasan. Todo nos ha pasado. Okay. Entonces tenemos acá. Here our guest describes our a business get future. Entonces le pregunta. ¿Escuchaste sobre la visita del gerente de ahora? Sí, le dice. Deberíamos estar listas para contestar, answer, para contestar las preguntas sobre la misión y la visión de la compañía. ¿Ok? Vamos a leerlas. Ok. Nuestra misión es hacer a nuestros clientes se, o invitados sentir en casa desde el registro inicial hasta la salida. Es cierto, nuestra misión describe por qué nuestro negocio existe, business, business. Okay, in our vision is to become, y nuestra visión es llegar a ser, um, el hotel de playa más preferido por las familias en el 2020. Eso es correcto. Nuestra misión dice dónde queremos eh, ir en el futuro. Eso es lo, lo importante. Our vision tells, nuestra visión dice dónde Queremos que nuestro negocio vaya en el futuro. Okay. So, now that we have this, ahora que tenemos esto, vamos a practicarlo un momento y luego que lo practiquemos, vamos a regresar. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Vamos a los, al trabajo en, okay. So, for this case, necesito que alguien me apoye. Si es posible, porque creo que no todos tienen el manual. Si todo lo tienen, perfecto. 
Si no, me gustaría que alguien envíe la captura al grupo, si es tan amable. Mientras comienzo a organizarlos. Y you can, please. Eh, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, Alexandra. Eh, thank you, JC. Thank you, JC. Bien, es algo que yo estaba consultando al inicio. Ajá, si todos estaban en el grupo de WhatsApp. Bien. Nuevamente, eh, estamos todos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, vemos no, qué no. puede ser. No, teacher, yo tampoco. Vale. ¿Puedes hacer algo? al chat de Zoom y para agregarlos bueno también perdón ahí Juan, les les copié el, el gracias Juan del... thank you okay. thank you very much aunque no aparece Juan no sé si ya ah ahí está antes de que yo les enviara el número ahí este Juan nos hizo Exacto. el favor de enviar el link para unirse al grupo de, de WhatsApp Así que si no lo ha hecho, please, please. Un este momento. Mm -hmm. eh, bien, vamos a trabajar entonces en equipo. Los veo dentro de unos cuatro minutos. ¿okay? Necesito que se unan al grupo de WhatsApp. Es importante. Ok, sí, en un momento necesito que acepten la solicitud, please. No, Oscar. Sí, teacher, yo ya estoy en el grupo. Oscar. No, me refiero a los grupos ahorita de Zoom. Acabo de enviar una invitación ah, para que presentemos. <risa> Sí, estaba, permítame. Ah, sí, ahorita me voy a unir. Ok, Brenda. César. No, 
what's happening? I'm talking to her. And Laura, hello there. Okay, let me see. I don't know if... Uh, I guess it's listen. not available. Mm. Okay, I'm going to check if I can change... I can change you in another breakout room, okay? Okay, thank you. Nice. Ah, and I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Um, I don't know how to realize what are my achievements. Okay. Because um, I don't, I don't do anything that can be. Hey, do um, you, I guess you have Very some um, related to family, related to studies jobs, friends, or something important in your life that included effort and just maybe one of your objectives in life that were can be used. Okay. Don't so, it yourself. You can say whatever you want to that makes you feel really good. Okay. So okay. it matters that um Que sea como importante para mí, digamos, mi objetivo. Yes, algo. yes, but you uh, accomplished. Algo que, que lograste. For mm -hmm. example, to live in another house, to have pets, if that's something that you really love, uh, to practice some sports or have hobbies. And how can I say, mantengo vivas mis plantas, porque eso sí es un logro. I keep my lluvia. flowers alive. I... <laughs> but thank you. So, okay, see you in a moment. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to check something. Flor, are you there? Flor de Maria. Okay. Se escucha mucho. Escucha demasiado el sonido de la lluvia. No. No, teacher. No, se escucha bien. Okay. Sí, es que está viendo bastante fuerte. Okay. So, uh, here we have this short conversation. Do we have volunteers to have a very brief practice? Um, okay, Juan is one of the volunteers. And definitely we're going to have, what if we have Carla? Okay, okay Juan and Carla, okay. Um, it doesn't matter if, has a girl name or whatever, okay? Something to practice. Okay, Diana, here, Diana. Did you hear about the visions the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's ready, Tim. Okay, our mission is to, is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision the where all business want to get in the future. Yeah, that's good, really. So it is important and that we have good one, good Carla. Something important is that we have clear our mission, well, the mission and of our company. Normalmente, normally we don't know it, know them, but it is important, okay? So it is like a very uh, clear point, where do we go? Here, se escuchar, se parece mucho, well, it's the same communication as here, que significa aquí, the same. Here, here. And here we have this price. When I said this price, it's going to be our similar to our the hora. Estos son homophones. The homophones are words. Okay. Yes, words with same pronunciation but different meaning. Igual pronunciación, diferente significado. Eso es un tanto complejo en inglés because we have to identify which one belongs to what context. Okay, the context of it. Uh, so remember, here, 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 the key, here, the picture is our, the nosotros, nuestro, is our, the order. Okay. Thank you. We have uh, Diana, or Diana, and Celia. Thank you, Renato. This one. Easy, easy. Read the mission statements of successful companies. Successful is exitoso. Okay. And, see? Match, match significa unir, ¿verdad? Match them to the companies on the right. Compare your answer with a partner. Okay. And here we have to be uh, A, B, C, D. We have Chevron, Starbucks, Amazon, Nike. So these are very important companies. And here we have different types of missions. Okay. Do we have some volunteers? to match these missions with the companies. Uh, if we have volunteers, if I volunteer, levanteme la manita del emoji. Yes, Juan. Okay, Juan. You want to be the first? Is Amazon. Okay, Amazon, what letter? To be mass customer centric company in the world where people find discovering anything that they want to buy online anything they want to buy online but uh currently amazon is exploring different types of areas in business because now uh, nowadays amazon has streaming okay has a streaming sites similar to to hbo Okay, or Disney Plus, but Amazon has this um, mission. 
Any other? We have Chevron, Starbucks, Nike. Nobody? Okay, I'm going to select one. Voy a seleccionar a Tenga. Apariencia de inocente. Ok, vamos a seleccionar a... Y Noé quiere que lo seleccionen a él. Ok, Noé, vamos a ver. Ok, Noé. Ok, teacher. Uh, Chevron. What is Chevron? To be global energy company most admired for its people, partnerships and performance. Ok, yes, admired. Mm -hmm. Admire for its people, partnership and performance, global energy. Nice. Okay, okay, let's listen to Mario. Okay, Mario. Solo, solo a, a personas tranquilas estoy seleccionando. Lo más tranquilito. The letter C is Nike. Nike, okay. Can you read it, please? Bring. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. In the world. Okay, actually it is green inspiration. And here we have Starbucks King, maybe King, we have the pronunciation of Jose Mauricio, please, to inspire. Okay, uh, seria to inspire a natural the human spring, one person, one cook, and one I no sé cómo se dice. Neighborhood. 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 Como Robin Hood, pero aquí es neighborhood. Ah, neighborhood. At a time. time. Okay, to inspire nurture. Yes, one person, one cup. Okay. Now let's move to the what the speaking activity. Me gusta las speaking activities porque podemos tener un tipo de respuesta and we have different aspects or uh, philosophy. Yes? I have a question. Oh. What's the meaning of nurture? Nurture es nutrir como sumar. Ah. Okay, and you. okay, you're welcome. It's something that it is like it appears in memes, algo que también aparece en los memes is that Starbucks sells you the experience te vende la experiencia en so, bla, bla, bla. Okay. Solo la foto con el vaso. Yes, why not? La foto. Picture with, with, with the cup and your name. Okay, what is the greatest achievement? Let's listen in this case to Abel and then Gisela. Okay, Abel. As I told you before, you can have a very brief answer, una respuesta corta, or standard, depends on you. The my information for oh, my uh, grade. Yes, my greatest achievement is mm -hmm. my greatest achievement is uh by how do you say finalizar? Finish finished finish mm -hmm. finish my house. Oh wow, that's really good. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yes. And thank you. Now let's listen to Gisela and then Alexandra. Okay. Uh, my rest of achievement is uh, haber comprado, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, about. Oh, to buy. Simplemente okay. buy. To buy my house. Yes, another one. Good. And Currently, cuando digo currently, me refiero actualmente. Okay. Currently, it is so difficult to buy a house, to build a house, construir una casa. That's really, really difficult. Sometimes it is almost impossible, but if you have done, well, I should okay, Let's listen to Alexandra and then Brenda. My greatest Achievement is to finish my career. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, you can say career or even. Uh, Seria is to finish my career. Um, 
pueden decir obtain a degree, que es obtener el título, que es uh -huh. quite similar when you finish your, your career, major, major, carrera, okay, my major. Good one, Alexandra. Um, let's Brenda and Cesar. Okay. No, okay, no, no Brenda. Cesar, are you there? Ah, no, no problem. I'm sorry. Ahorita te anoto, Kiko. Later, okay. después, después. Okay. Douglas. No, Douglas. Okay. Elia, Yanira. No. Okay. Fatima del Carmen. Okay. My greatest. Uh -huh. sí. My greatest achievement is to work. To work in. Trabajar en qué? Work in um, construction. Okay. Greatest or greatest. En lugar de T, podemos utilizar R. Okay. Yeah. Yes, to work in construction. Thank you. Good. And so, Fernando, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Please. Okay, well, my greatest achievement is to study to learn English, especially because I would like to improve my all skills in English, my pronunciation, my intonation, and my comprehension is very important right now. Um, especially because I would like to to grow out in my personal life and I would like to get different opportunities in my life. Definitely you will. And yeah. English opens a lot of doors and definitely you're going to get like better positions and better judgment. Definitely. Yeah, I know. Good. Good for you, thank you. And let's listen now to Flor de Maria and then Jose Mauricio. My great achievement is to have my grown children. Oh, yeah, that's really very nice. How many kids do you have? And two sons. Oh, two sons. That's really, really nice. Hey, congratulations, bro. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, you. Jose Mauricio, you're welcome. Jose Mauricio okay. and Juan Cristobal. Okay, my greens. I no sé cómo se pronuncia. Greatest, great, greatest, como está en rojo, greatest, ah, greatest, my greatest achievement is a, um, achievement is, achievement is a world a department, credit department. Oh, very nice. Is, is um credit analyst. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, really nice. Remember that when you work in a different department or in a specific area in a business or in a company, you learn a lot, okay? So I imagine that you are learning a lot, okay? Thank you, very nice. Uh, Jose, let's listen now to Juan Cristobal. Yes, my greatest achievement is my family. Oh, really good. No health prices. Yeah, that's priceless, <laughs> not health price. Yes. No health okay. price. And I feel you. Yes. Hey. Well, <laughs> and yes, I guess that is something. Remember that we have different goals in our life related to uh, job opportunities, family, friends, money, and even some why not objects but family it's something really that's beautiful thank you um Juan Cristobal Julissa and Carla if we don't have Julissa we'll go with Carla okay Carla 
showtime. Okay. And some of my greatest achievements are uh, first, uh, keep my flowers alive because the uh, weather is. Uh, yes, I know it is difficult. And yeah. even to plant. Because in in these rainy days, it's a good. Yes, and uh, there are a lot of flowers that they need sun. Some others, they don't need too much yeah. sun. I have some cactus and when it's rainy, they yeah, die. <laughs> it's complicated, yes, because they, they need few water, not yeah. in excess. And also um, improve my English because uh, I can help uh, many people that can that can't speak Spanish in my work and it's special for me okay yeah that's something that, that it, you feel really good something yeah. that you have obtained by a little sacrifice now you can use that ability or that skill to help others definitely yeah. good okay As, aunque sepa poquito, pues. Uh, it doesn't yeah, matter it doesn't. that is something important is that if you know something share it okay that's it Thank you, Erla. Good. Thank you for all your participation. We're going to continue later. Vamos a continuar después. How to use infinitives. Okay. Ese es el tema. Cómo utilizar infinitivos. Let me tell you something. Infinitives are verbs that are not used with any pronoun. Son verbos que no están... Eh, no se han utilizado, no están conjugados o no están en ningún tiempo gramatical en específico. I mean, something important is that infinitives have two words. Tienen la palabra to, ¿ok? To collect, to find, to ask, to finish, ¿ok? Um, Let's see. Here we have some examples. She came to collect her paycheck. The three bears went to find firewood. I am calling to ask you about that. My sister has gone to finish her homework. Uh, if you notice, in number three, I am calling to ask you. Uh, te estoy llamando para preguntarte sobre papá. Para preguntar sobre papá. Para encontrar ¿Verdad? Eh, Madre del Fuego, she came to collect. Ella vino a, eh, a traer, a, a recoger. Eh, your sister has gone to finish. Eh, tu hermana se ha ido a finalizar su trabajo. Entonces, el infinitive, it's practically the verb that is not used in a conjugation and it has to. Ese es el infinitivo. Prácticamente el que tiene la palabra to y no está conjugado. Easy peasy. Easy as ABC. Ok. And I'm going to show you some other examples. Ok. The two infinitive with question words. Aquí tenemos eh, los infinitivos que también se pueden utilizar con eh, question words. The verb ask, decide, explain, forget, know, show, tell, and understand can be followed by a question word such as where, how, what, who, and when. Plus the two infinity. Entonces tenemos estos que podemos utilizar el how, el what, ¿verdad? el when, con un infinitivo. Always, always use it with in a base form. Siempre utilizando, utilizamos estos verbos como en su forma base, sin conjugarlos. Sin, así como ustedes lo pueden encontrar, the same form, you can find them in, uh, in a dictionary or on internet or in Google. Okay, así. Okay, let me re, let me, well, I want to hear some of your pronunciation. Sé que es muy buena. Así que vamos primero acá con Janet. Okay, Janet, can you help me with number one? She asked. And then we go with Kevin. We do you. Okay, Janet. If you have difficulties, I can help you. Pronunciation. 
teacher? Yes, read, mm -hmm. please. She asked, asked me. She asked me how to you share the washing machine. Okay, she asked me mm -hmm. asked how to me. use. Yes, perfect. Okay, Kevin, and then we go with Gisela. Estoy llorando, no llores, Gisela. Okay, Kevin. Do you do you all understand? Learn, learn understand what to do. Thank you. Okay, we go with Gisela and after Gisela to okay. listen to Brenda. <clears throat> Okay, tell me when to press the button. The button, thank you. Okay, Brenda, are you there? Then uh, if Brenda is not there, entonces vamos con Oscar. Okay, I've forgotten. Uh, I, okay. Life for garden where to part this life a screw. Ah, little screw. Thank you. And then we're going to listen this time to let me see. Mario, please help me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I know how to go. Yes, mm -hmm. I know how. Oh. No, estoy seguro. Ya sé a quién llamar. Mm -hmm. eh, he olvidado dónde poner, ¿verdad? Déjame, dime dónde, o oh, perdón, cuándo presionar, eh, entiendes qué hacer. Eh, ella me preguntó cómo usar, entonces, as you can see, that verb is not used in a conjugation. Es como en español, que utiliza un verbo sin conjugar. Por ejemplo, mm, abrir, ¿verdad? Encender, all those. Ok, now let's of this worksheet, ¿verdad? Okay, easy peasy. We have 10 examples. What do we have to do is simple. Use the verb in parentheses and add the word to. Utilicen los verbos en parentheses y antes de esa palabra le van a agregar el to. Easy, as A, B, Z, okay? We're going to start in this case with Flor, and then we go with Noe, okay? Flor, tell me what number. Number one. Okay, number one. We decided to buy the new car. Okay, yes, we decided. Mm -hmm. Decided, decide. mm -hmm. okay. Yes, to buy a new car, okay. Noe, and then we go with... Liliana. Okay. I don't understand. Okay. Um, permítame, Noé. Aquí lo que Flor hizo fue lo siguiente. Utilizó el verbo en paréntesis y le agregó la palabra to, como lo he estado explicando. Okay. Y sí, van a utilizar la palabra en paréntesis para terminar la oración. Y le agregan la palabra to antes, para usarlo como infinito. Ok. okay. Yes, okay. perfect. Ok, Noé. Ok. They have... Eh, ah, number two, yes. They've uh -huh. got... They've got... They've got some work to do. Perfect. Good one. Okay, let's listen now to Mario and then Abel. Number three. Please. <clears throat> Peter uh, give up. Gave up. Gave, gave up. up. Peter gave up to smoke. Okay, good for him. Thank you. We go now with Abel and then we go with Oscar. Okay. Like like to fly in an airplane to fly an airplane thank you okay we go now with Juan and Carla I enjoy to write picture postcard thank you okay 
Carla will go with you and then Kevin. Okay. Do you know what to do if there's a fire in the shop? Thank you. Kevin, are you there? And then Alexander. And do, do Michael see Okay, what number? Seven. 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 Avoid. Avoid. Uh -huh. Avoid to make silly mistakes. Okay, thank you. Okay, Alexandra and then Lilian. My parents want me to be home at 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, thank you. Okay, Liliana, are you there? And then Odalis. Okay, I bring about to buy a big house. To build. Mm -hmm. to, to build, build a big house. Yes, como todos nos no, no, no gustaría. Party. We should start. Thank you. Odalis, can you help us with number 10? I am shopping to see Lisa. Okay, Hoppy. Hoppy. To see Lisa. Sorry. Okay, good. So, uh, as you can see, it is easy. You just have to add two. Se le agrega two para que sea un infinito. Okay. And here we have some other samples. Sorry. Okay. Here we have two, three, well, from one to six. And let's listen to some others who have not participated. Adriana and Fernando. Okay, Adriana, what number? Uh, number one. Number one? Yes. Ion has decided to apply for the new job. Perfect, that's it, thank you. Okay, Fernando, your turn. And then we go with Marvin. Turn to get to drive the seaside. To the seaside, mm -hmm. yes, seaside. Just okay. good one. Marvin, and after Marvin, we're going to listen to Elio. He can get used to work for such a big company. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, Elia. Her mother and sit her to write to serve. I said no second to several 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 different companies. Advise her. Mm -hmm. Her mother advised her. Thank you very advice. much. Okay, what about Laura? I don't know if Laura is ready, but if not, we go in this case to finish this. Adriana, Raquel, I don't know if you have participated. Si ya participaste, Adriana. Yes, teacher, number one. Bien, vamos con repechaje. Okay. Five or six. Eh... I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Carol is too ill to go to work today. Yes. Buena excusa. No nos la creo. And we're going to finish this case with Gisela. Number six, please. Have you decided? Have you decided where to spend your next holiday? Yes, where to spend your next holidays. Good one. Thank you. Okay, we're doing really good. Creo que este tema es demasiado fácil para ustedes. So, we're going to continue with what is your greatest achievement? And in this case, we're going to have Marvin and then Mirna. Okay, Marvin, tell us about your greatest achievement in your life. My greatest achievement is travel to other countries. Okay, you have traveled to another country. For example, which one? Can you mention? Costa Rica. Oh, they're really good. Very interesting. What about Mirna and then Odalis?
No Mirna, okay. We go with Odalis and then Oscar. Teacher, casi no. Tengo problemas con el internet. Ah, es inestable un poco. Ok. Vamos a esperar un poco entonces, ok. Ok. Oscar and then Rosa. Ok, Oscar. La hola, teacher. Sí. What is your greatest achievement? Um, entiendo poco. ¿Cuáles son mis actividades, dice? No, tu logro. Como tu logro más grande. Uh, my great achievement is... Graduarme de contador. Okay, to finish, uh, well, to obtain my accountant degree. Go with Kevin. Are you there, Kevin? Um, uh, Leo, Leo, my. Leo, my creation. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Can you repeat it, please? Uh, yes. Okay. Janet, do you have a comment or question? Sí, Janet. My greatest uh, achievement is work in the butter makers. Okay, very nice. Thank you. No te había preguntado, ¿verdad, Janet? Mirna, okay. Janet. Ah, es que aquí aparece como Mirna, Janet. Okay. Thank you, Janet. Be nice. Liliana, you go. Hey, teacher, my greatest achievement is by my house. Okay, another one. Yeah. Thank you. Eh, Mario and then Noé. Okay, teacher, my greatest achievement is finish my career and find a job quickly. Oh, definitely. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Very nice. Noe and Adriana. Okay. My greatest achievement in my work is to ascend five times. Oh, good. that's really, it is not that easy to do that. Okay. Yes. Let's keep working like that. Okay, thank you. And Adriana. My greatest achievement is buy my car. Okay, definitely is one, a good uh, sensation. When you buy a motorcycle, a car, a house, that is something that has a lot of effort. So that's why yeah. it's important. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you. Now here we have a brief explanation about uh, infinitives. How to use infinitives. Forms that consist of two plus base form of the verb are called infinitive. Entonces las formas de los verbos que solo tienen el two antes del verbo son consideradas infinitivas. Okay, in this case I will need help of what about we have floor. Okay. Infinitives. Infinitives are used to express purpose like in mission statement. Example. Why does the company exist? Thank you. Así que se pueden utilizar los infinitivos como dice Flor. To express purpose, para expresar el propósito. Y se olviden. Why does the company exist? Por qué existe la compañía? Okay, now let's continue with, um, let's listen to Oscar. To bring. Uh, to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Okay, so that's, that's uh, why 
Thank you. And let's continue now in this case with Mario. Inputs are also. Infinitives are also used to express directions, like in vision statements. For example, example. Uh, where is the company going? Where is the company going? I don't develop. So, uh, Carla, please, can you help us? Our vision. Our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, it is like purpose is for mission, direction is for vision. Okay. So, that's it. And here we have some other. Okay, read the statements below, correct four. Okay, we have four mistakes related to use of infinities. Compare answers with a partner, okay? Vamos a ver cuatro errores. Here we have number one. Our vision is become. Hmm, le hace falta el two, become. The number one provider of office supplies in San Miguel, okay? Let's check this. Veamos si hay error en los demás. Ya voy a, hacer, voy a mencionar algunos de ustedes. To tell me if there is a mistake, say un error, or if the sentences are correctly written. Take a look at this. I'm going to give you one minute. Okay, do we have some other mistakes in here? And um, I'm going to call some of you, maybe if you want to read, just to read or to select mistakes. Si quieren leerla o seleccionar, mencionar los errores. So, any volunteer or anybody has identified a sentence? If not, I'm going to select some of you. For example, let's listen to Juan. Are you ready, Juan? Yes. Read? Okay, read what, hey, whatever you want. Okay. Six, what number? Uh, number three. Uh, number three, okay. We aim to be the number one gaining service provider for financial institution. Okay, we aim to be. It is to. Mm -hmm. We aim. Le hace falta el is. A donde? Después del aim. Mm. To be. Realmente. Is to be. Realmente no. Así, así no. se va. Uh -huh. Así se va. Lo que pasa es que aim significa eh, nosotros esperamos, es como para decir we want to, we expect, queremos. Entonces, aim es como tener un objetivo. So, no problem with that. Oh, okay. okay. We go in this case with Mario, and then we go with Fatima. Mario. 
And the number, number five. five. Okay, Mario and then Fati. <laughs> the same, five, la misma, la cinco era. <laughs> it's very easy, teacher. Um, okay. And the number five, uh, to Fatima. And another one, uh, number two. Okay, let's go with number two. Our mission is to provide healthy, tasty, and economic meals to construction workers, whatever they are. Okay, that's, that's okay. Right. Thank you, very nice. You are a gentleman, caballeroso. Fatima, okay? Thank you. Showtime. Okay. We ambition be leaders in the distribution. This distribution. Distribution. Street diversion of energy drinks in the regional market. Mm -hmm. Le falta el tú yes. después de ambition. 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 Thank you. Very nice. Okay, let's listen to Gisela and then Fernando. Okay. My company's vision is to becoming the most preferred hair salon for adolescents. Do you think it's correct or mistake? Está bien o hay error? Ah, está bien. Well, almost, casi está bien, por un detalle. Ah, okay. En el caso... Cuando vamos a utilizar el to, siempre el verbo a base, forma a base de becoming. Sí, es, está conjugado, ¿verdad? Exactly. Become. Come. A company's uh, vision is to become. You know? Become. Thank you. Ok, Fernando, what about you? Okay, Fernando is not ready. Let's go. Kevin, can you read number four? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, but I have some problems with my internet. Okay, okay. Okay, Fernando. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, maybe. We exist to bring. Yeah. Oh, okay. to bring? I don't know. Yes, it's similar. Can you hear me? We exist to bring telecommunication solutions businesses in rural areas. It's yeah, yeah. It, it, what's the second verb is ing. It's ing. And when I and use the verb the infinitive is to. Should be in the base form. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Let's listen to here. To, to this instruction. Choose a local company or think of your own. Write an effective mission and vision statement for it. Says your mission and vision statement is effective in the back. Yeah, lo que vamos a hacer es we're going to express the mission or the vision of any company. As a preference, it should be yours. Debería ser la de ustedes. I know that you are really good employees. You are the good workers and you already know the mission and the vision of your company, right? So there's no problem. But if not, you can create one. Si no se la saben, si no tienen muy claro, pueden crearlo. How? Okay. In this case, uh, here we have that. Um, the purpose is for the mission, the direction, okay, is for the vision. Is. Así que el propósito de la empresa es la misión, okay? Y la visión es la dirección hacia donde va. Okay. So, I need you to express the mission or the vision of your company. If you want to say, or to express for another company, it's okay, right? I'm going to give you like one minute or two minutes to create one. Todo para crear, ya sea, misión o visión.
Okay, I guess some of you have already finished. Sé que algunos ya han terminado. So, there's not book. Not bunch. Okay. So, um, volunteers, or I can go one by one. Remember that the mission shouldn't be so long. No debe ser grande. Shouldn't be a testament. Okay? Maybe a brief description about the purpose of any company or the direction of anything. Okay, so in this case, let's listen. Uh, what about if we this activity by listen Adriana Raquel? Hey, Adriana. Hey, Adriana. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, please. Con tu misión o visión. No. No. Okay. What about Noé? Ari. No, teacher. Okay, teacher. Eh, mission. Purpose is to be the best company for the city. Thank you very much. What about Mario and Lilian? Sorry, teacher, I didn't finish. Okay. Liliana, what about you? My mission is to finish my career. Okay. And I don't know. Porque la misión o misión sobre la compañía. Ah, me confundí. Sorry. Ahí tienes un par de segundos. And okay. Oscar, are you ready? Ande. Eh, la visión de la compañía donde trabajo. Yes, that's it. Ah, ah pues, uh, the vision of the company is the unit order. Se trabaja en una empresa de logística, ¿verdad? Y just... la misión es unir fronteras. Ah, unit borders. Okay. Unit. Okay, good. The unit borders is in from Mary. Uh, global. Ah, global. Oh. Uh -huh. Unit borders. Uh, un Borders. Okay. So ah, that, okay. that's you have the vision as well, or yes. For the mission, right? No problem. Okay. Thank you. What about Kevin? Okay. Let's move. Valis and then Firmo. Valis. More with Janet. What about you? <laughs> I see you. Okay. 
Janet, ready? Hey, your teacher. Can I see? Lisa? Oh. Marvin, and then Laura. Okay, our mission is to become to the most successful avicolas company in the world. Thank you. Okay, Laura and Carla. Okay, Carla. Okay, the mission is to provide the best fabrics to the customers. Como digo cumpliendo? Ah, fulfilling. Ah, okay, fulfilling all their their expectations. And the vision is to become the most preferred fabric store. In El Salvador. Oh, very good. What's the name of that company? Almacen Pacifico. Ah, very. It's it's like kind of famous. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Really okay. nice. And we go with uh, Juan. Are you ready? Yes. Please. Okay, mission to innovate in the shortest term. Oh, okay. Vision of my company is to provide the best service to customer. Okay. It sounds really good. Okay, thank you. The name of your company um, decir mi compañía, pero en realidad no es mía. <laughs> ah, okay, yes. Uh, actually, that's correct. Okay. He's showing. Okay, no. Okay, Gisela en Flor de María. Oficela, Flor and Fernando. The mission of the company is provide service. After. Okay. So, let's see. So, look at if it was a little more specific. If it was a business, provide customer service. Um, Logistic. No. Teacher, eh, tengo un poco cortada la comunicación porque está lloviendo un poco fuerte. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, I'm having the same problem, teacher. Okay. Even. Sí, también acá, pues. And uh, it's uh, super, super fuerte. So, well, let's keep on. And remember, we have just 20 minutes. 20 minutes and terminamos. We're going to finish really. really. Um, Fernando, I don't know, Fernando. Um, yeah, yeah, but let's try. In my case, it is reasonable to say, I don't know what is the mission of my company. Okay, for now. Thank you for this patient. Fatima. And yeah. Elia. Thank you. Sorry. Paris Elia. Lema is the best place to work. <laughs> okay, the best place to work. I hope. That can be real. Creo que sea real. Uh, I think so. Okay, really good. That's nice. And Elia Douglas. Sure. Fatima teacher. Uh, Fatima, ready? 
opening of three new agencies. Oh, that could be the vision is to open new agencies in every three. Okay. Yeah. And Douglas and then Brenda. Um, mission provide the maintenance to aircraft. Okay. And, uh, and Alexander. Uh, the mission work to make money. Okay. And what about Brenda and Abel? Okay, we're going to finish with Abel. It's new brother. Teacher, Abel is having problems with the connectivity because the rain too. Yes, I guess we have a, that, but okay. well, we're going to continue with this as long as we can. Okay, um, and we have moved to the listening part. Uh, le voy a poner un audio. Uh, the, uh, this audio is an, a short explanation. It is called like a short speech, ¿verdad? Se le conoce como, como pequeños discursos, mini discursos, about the different topics. So let me show you. We're going to listen two times. Vamos a escucharlo dos veces. El compartir sonido, creo que le hace falta ahí, Tich. Hay ah, un ahorita. chequecito. Sí. Eh, lo, lo que pasa es que se me había tenía dificultades aquí con este programa. Ahora sí. Speech on value time. They don't waste time. Eh, Juan, si podrías escuchar, puedes, puedes escuchar el audio. Sí. Ok. Ok. Let's listen. Speech on value time. They don't waste time on unnecessary things. And when they get free time, they do creative things. That means they utilize leisure time in productive ways. A student who knows how important time is for his life can succeed in his future and lead a disciplined life through time management. If we all want to manage our time, then we must make lists of works, prioritize tasks, and set goals to achieve. Let's listen again. Vamos a escucharlo de nuevo. If you want to take notes or to identify one or two words or phrases, that would be great. Sería genial. De identificar palabras, dos palabras o frases. That's good. Voy a preguntar dos. Let's listen one more time. Speech on value time. They don't waste time on unnecessary things. And... When they get free time, they do creative things. That means they utilize leisure time in productive ways. A student who knows how important time is for his life can succeed in his future and le lead a disciplined life through time management. If we all want to manage our time, 
then we must make lists of works, prioritize tasks, and set goals to achieve. Okay. Let's listen to some of you. What words or phrases are you identify? Let's start with uh, Jose Mauricio, and then we go with Oscar. On word, words, phrases. Okay. Uh, dijo uh, in necessary time. Ah, in necessary. Okay. Oscar and then Janet. Okay, discipline. Thank you. Janet? Mm, mm, time. Time, okay. Flor and then Mario. Important, really. Mm -hmm. okay. Necessary time. Okay. Mario and Noé. They don't waste time. They don't waste time. Good. And Noé and Carly. Uh, priority free time. Good one. Priority. And Carly. They spend their time in productive ways. The ways. And yes. don't waste time in unnecessary things. Necessary things. Thank you very much. Here we have this speech on value of time. Yes, they don't waste time on unnecessary things. And when they get free time, they do creative things. So basically, we are talking about value of time. El valor del... How can we produce more things or how can productive? How can we, we use discipline through the time? To the management of the time and how to achieve, como lograr, achieve, como el achievement, lo que le preguntaba, okay? The greatest achievement, okay? And that can be applied for different things, okay? To jobs, family, free time, whatever, okay? So very nice. Voy a estarles poniendo siempre, I'm going to play this type of audio, así que para que nosotros podamos tener diferentes tipos de, de vocabulario, vamos a hacer. Okay, and let's see after this. And le voy a explicar también una actividad que vamos a estar haciendo cada uno de ustedes. Esta actividad se llama así. What's the name of this song? Por motivos, for matters of copyright, we can't um, play any YouTube music or video, because this class can be banned. Como uh, yo grabo cada clase, as every teacher, that we have to record every single class and then upload to the YouTube playlist. If YouTube identifies any song or video with copyright, our video is going to be banned, va a ser eliminado. Así que lo único que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Por orden de lista, ustedes van a traer, van a presentar, así que, eh, van a compartir pantalla, donde dice, eh, va, bueno, van a compartir pantalla, una, una, frases, or parts of the song, ok, puede ser el estribillo, puede ser la estrofa, como en este caso, and we're going to guess what's the name of the song, or what is, eh, who is the singer or what is the band, okay? I present this a uh, very old song, I can say un poquito antigua, a very romantic song. And it says, I know your eyes in the morning sun. I feel you touch me in the pouring rain. And the moment that you wander far from me, I wanna feel you in my arms again. Obviamente no puedo cantar, I can't sing. No puedo for you too, sino que mi voz no me da. Cántela, cántela. Oh, definitely. My voice is really, really weird. But you already know the name of the song. It doesn't matter, teacher. You can try it. Ay, me los vecinos, me van a tirar los vecinos. Stones. De hecho, va a estar todo. Okay. 
what's the name of this song and what is the name of the artist or the band? Son de los mismos que cantan a Still Alive. Um, yes. uh, I don't miss, um, uh, I told my eyes, lo que se llama. Eso es en Armagedón. Ah, no. You said, no I don't it. want to miss a thing. Mm -mm. No, no es la de Eros. No es por Dios. Alexandra está muy enamorada. Está demasiado enamorada, tranquila. No, pero sabe que esa película me gusta específicamente por, bueno, la banda me gusta. Eh, pero buena. es que no sé. Buenísima tanto la película como la canción. Sí, no sí. Es definitely, I love that movie and that song. Pero esta sí es del mismo, de la misma banda que canta la de Staying Alive. ¿Hm? How deep is your love, se llama. Yes, how deep is your love. Sí, In your scream, that's the name of the song, teacher. Huh? In your scream, is that the name of the song? Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. In the corner of the esquina. Perdón. Ah. Okay. So, well, uh, we're going to. No, Alexandra. Sí, Alexandra creo que está excesivamente in love. Okay. So, but we're going to start with Abel and Nielsen tomorrow. El comienza va a presentar cualquier canción. If you want to present a classic uh, song. Or, uh, yes, maybe it is, it is common better. Un poco mejor. Because we, well, all of us have like uh, strange uh, types of music. But let's try to share common music. It can be romantic or it can be classical, rock, pop, whatever. So try to extract uh, a paragraph of that sound. Como le digo, puede ser el estribillo, puede ser el tropa, bueno, coro. Y la leen. Juan dice que sí la va a cantar, okay? Juan is going to sing it. But, claro. But Así yes. Es. Okay, good for you. Este momento ha llegado. En, okay. Entonces, and we're going to, that, that's the point, to guess, adivinar en. Uh, it is important to notice this, uh, that we have vocabulary. Vocabulary that we already use. So we some use of conversations. So that's it. Well, my friends, así que vamos a tener cada clase dos actividades especiales. Speaking activity, que son las preguntas, como what is uh, your greatest achievement? Y la otra es uh, the song. What's the name of this song? Okay? Pero es, uh, what's the name of this song? Uh, Va, ¿cómo se llama? En orden de lista. Primero va a Belle de Nilsson. Eh, luego va Alexandra. Eh, luego va a Brenda. Alexandra, ¿no vas a traer esa canción que dijiste? Oh. Okay. No, teacher. Otra, otra, Román, que te recuerdo. Baby, y la ¿no? tiene que cantar. Sí. Eh, no, eh, yo eh, también. Me, voy a, me van a sacar eh, de donde vivo por, por cantar más. Así ah, bueno. Sí, no, es peligroso. Ok, my friends, eh, I'm going to check the attendance because we're going to finish. Ya vamos a terminar. Solo eh, reviso la asistencia. Um, remember, hi, hello, good, good evening, goodbye. Para uh, revisar la lista. Abel, eh, Denison, te quedas ahora después de la clase. Eh, Serían un par de minutos para pues ver lo, lo de la sesión personal. Okay, let's listen to Abel de Nilsson. Hello. Hi. Espero que te comentes si estás ahí, si quieres el audio. Eh, Alexandra, la romántica. Present teacher. Thank no. you. <laughs> Solo buen so. gusto por la música. Okay, nice. Brenda. Present. Thank you, César. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Douglas. <coughs> Present. Nice. Elia Janira. Present teacher. Good. Fatima del Carmen. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Josué. I'm here. You're there. Flor de Maria. 
Very nice, Gisela. Good, Sir Mauricio. Present. Good, Juan Cristobal. Present, teacher. Perfect, and Julissa. No, Julissa. Carla, Daniela. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Thank you, Laura. Okay. Um, Marvin. Hello, Ms. Ala. Okay. Mirna. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Creo que ese es presente el miércoles de todos nosotros. Thank you. Odalis. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Oscar. Present teacher. Nice. Rosa del Carmen, I guess it's not connected, right? Kevin. Present teacher. Good. Liliana. Well, maybe not there. Mario Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Noé. Present teacher. Nice. Adriana Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Eh, recuerden que se, vamos a tener siempre dos actividades cada clase. At the beginning of the class, I provide new vocabulary of phrasal verbs, idiomatic expressions, or whatever. And remember, please, to complete the homework, las tareas a tiempo para que no se les acumule. And especially because we have started in the middle of the week, como hemos comenzado a media semana, va a ser un poco más difícil porque cada martes debe de estar finalizada eh, las cinco tareas de la unidad que, que hemos estudiado. Quiero decir que se les pueden acumular. I strongly recommend you to finish on Friday. Les recomiendo que les terminen el viernes o el sábado y avancen. Pueden estar, pueden adelantar. Okay, there's not a problem. Y si se equivocan, if you have mistakes, you can do it again. Eso es lo bueno de esa plataforma. That platform is really friendly. You can do it again and again to have a better grade, para tener una mejor nota. Y eso pues va a ser todo por ahora, así que nos vemos mañana. Creo que vamos a tener una clase un poco más de mañana. mañana por... Casi. Sí, tomorrow. Ok, se okay. queda Abel. Good night. Rezo, bye bye. Good, bye. Bye. Good, bye. Good, bye. Good, Good night. Adiós. Good bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Okay, Abel. Puedes escucharme, Abel. Okay, puedes escucharme, Abel. Creo que está conectado, pero. Ahí sí que lo siento. Eh, Tiene dificultades, ¿verdad? Con el internet. Sí, está lloviendo bien fuerte aquí. Oh, bueno. eh, vamos a intentar eh, trabajar con la sesión, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Tienes alguna pregunta? ¿Algo que te haya causado alguna dificultad? O, eh, eh, porque si no, si no tienes una pregunta o algo, eh, podemos hacer una pequeña entrevista. Pero no sé qué tan estable está ahorita el, el internet. ¿Me escuchas cortado? ¿Me escuchas bien? Sí, pero está bien inestable, la verdad. Ok, permítame. Dame un minuto, ¿ok? Sí, Salve. está bien.
¿Qué tal, Abel? ¿Cómo seguimos ahí con estabilidad? Con complicaciones siempre. Bueno, al parecer sí. Hello. Sí, creo que tenemos dificultades, Isabel. Si no, lo que vamos a hacer es, creo que en la mayoría de, de, de lugares han habido como dificultades. Si no, esta sesión te lo voy a ver si, si la reprogramo, ¿ok? Para que podamos, okay. aunque sea corta, aunque sea corta, pero en otra ocasión, porque si no, no me escucho para nada. ¿Sabes? Sí, me poco. Hey, este, ya te... Prepara la, 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 el extracto de una canción para mañana. ¿Viste cómo lo hice? No. Vaya, hice esto, mira. Tienes que hacer... Toma el, una parte de una canción que a ti te gusta y la vas a presentar así. Y solo la vas a leer. Entonces, los demás vamos a eh, identificar el nombre de la canción la banda o el cantante, por ejemplo I know your eyes in the morning sun I feel you touch me in the pouring rain y así sucesivamente vemos acá y aquí yo le puse, ver How Deep Is Your Love es el nombre de la canción y el grupo es Bee Gees. sencillo ¿Okay? Okay, así que mañana tú presentas eso de cual, la, cualquier canción pero no pongas acá el nombre de la canción, solo pones un pedazo y todos lo, lo adivinamos ok, a ver lo tengo que presentar como captura, sí. Sí, sí, haz una captura y como sea desde celular, eh, te voy a habilitar el espacio para que tú le des, eh, vaya, por ejemplo, en la parte de abajo, no sé si has visto que este, aparece un botón verde que dice compartir pantalla. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces le das compartir, una vez que ya tengas abierta la imagen, le das compartir, selecciona la imagen y la, la compartimos. Y todos vamos a poder ver la imagen. ¿okay? Ah, ok. Ok, a ver, o sea, excelente. Entonces, nos vemos mañana, ok. Ok. Bye. 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 Bye.